Hey guys, Asian here. Today, we're testing out the brand new Epson SureColor F2100 DTG. So this isn't your typical desktop inkjet printer. You don't just put paper in there and it spins out a pretty picture. What this does is it's a direct to garment printer. So it takes the inkjet process, supersizes it, and allows you to print a white base on dark color t-shirts. Any garment that you can place flat here on the platen, it can essentially print on. It lays down a base white ink throws color on top and you have a one-off t-shirt design that you can wear instantly. This is where you place your wine glass right there. Hmm. So this is the second generation. The first generation was the SureColor F2000. This is the 2100. Allegedly, this thing is supposed to be able to print up to twice as fast. It has some anti-clogging technology. It has anti-white ink filter clogging. So this is the version two, the generation two of the SureColor model. The first one was the F2000. This one is the F2100. This version of SureColor prints twice as fast. It has some anti-clogging technology. Um, it has double the print modes. Um, it's just an overall faster, uh, more upgraded version of the original shirt color. Also, you don't have as much maintenance. Uh, you don't have to drop a liquid into the print head every single night so it doesn't dry out. This thing does it automatically for you. So today we have a new shirt that we're working on designed by RCD Car Designs. We're gonna upload the image to the software. We're gonna send it to the printer. We're gonna get the t-shirt blank ready and then we're gonna print some shirts. So we've uploaded the design to Epson's Garment Creator, which comes with the printer. Um, we gotta position it inside the imaginary boundaries here within the software to make sure that it's in within the constraints of the platen. And I think that's about good. Move it up a little bit. You can increase the size, decrease the size. You can put it in the pocket, put it on the back, but you have this amount of space to work with. So one part of the process is you have to pre-treat, essentially you have to primer the shirt so that the ink adheres better to the cotton or the polyester. We use Epson's proprietary pre-treat. We put it here in this spray jug. You gotta give it a little bit of shake, a little bit of a squirt, and you gotta have pretty good coverage here and soak the shirt down to make sure that you hit all the fibers and it fully absorbs into the t-shirt. A lot of people that know DTG know that I'm doing this probably a little bit crude and you're supposed to have a pre-treat machine that sprays it consistently. But guess what? We can't afford that, okay? We got this. All right, you gotta put this on it so that it doesn't burn the t-shirt. Wait a second. Give me that. <laughs> Turn it upside down. Okay, move over here. Go. Ah! All right. So what we're doing here, we're actually pressing the t-shirt. We're heating it up. We're actually trying to dry. We're pushing this pre-treat into the fibers. Also, while drying it, let's say you're painting a house and you spray the primer. You don't want to spray paint directly over wet primer. You want the primer to dry, fully adhere to the surface. And essentially that's what this is doing. What's Richard got to say about that? Oh, uh, you know, uh, actually, uh, while we're doing this, we want to go ahead and give a shout out to our lovely beer assistant in the background here. Um, no beer, we don't drink, but um, he's there if we need him. All right, this is still hot. And then because this prints, you have to be able to spin it around here. You're gonna load it upside down. And what I'm doing here is I'm just trying to align the area that I can see that got hot and pressed. It's really got to eyeball it. Nothing's really gonna fully tell you if you did it right or not. And also to keep this on there, you have a little frame that Epson provides to help stretch the fabric out and keep it in place. So this is the frame that you'll place over each garment every single time. And lint roller. Yep, there we go. Right. This just helps kind of, we won't take all of it out. Some of this stuff's just on there because I'm an amateur. We're just trying to show you what it looks like, okay? I'm trying to paint a perfect picture. So I'm probably not doing a lot right and I might be doing some stuff wrong, but I'm still learning. So if you don't know how to do any of this, I know just a little bit more than you. Try to remove any wrinkles or anything like that. Just like stretching a canvas on a frame. 
I check my data here. Uh, are you ready? Alexa! So now I'm going to tell the software to send that image to the printer and begin to apply it to the garment. You have a lot of customizable features here. You can change the print speed, the quality, um, the density, um, the dot gain, the striking, the wide area, the color area, the print area, the t-shirt. Anyways, so I gotta get, uh, I gotta hit print here. And that sends it, and there's no money in there, but we're gonna go ahead and see what it sends out, okay? It's like a money machine. Here we go, oh, send it in. So right now it's printing the white base. In order to print on a dark t-shirt, it has to print a white base, which is really no different than if you have a dark shirt printed at a screen printer. They're still gonna lay down a white base and charge you for it. Let's say you have a red t-shirt on black. They still gotta put a white base and then print the red. A lot of people don't know that, so you're actually charged for two colors. This is no different. It's gotta print the white base and then it's thrown in color on the top. If you just had a white t-shirt, it would that would be unnecessary. It would just print the color and it'd probably print twice as fast. Oh! Woo-wee! Dang! Ask me. Don't look at this. This is not for your eyes. So right now, it's still wet. Wet paint, don't touch. Um, we've got to take it from the platen here and give it one more heat press, one more time, and then the ink will be fully dried and set into place. Don't let the ink touch, because it is still dry. Ooh. Okay, I think that's good. Yeah, I think that's in there. So we've got the parchment paper so that the hot metal surface doesn't adhere to the ink and pull it back off. So here we go. All right, gosh dang it. That was, a little, that was for you, Richard. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Look at that. Vibrant. I'm put it on. Oh, this is not small. This is this is not. I must have grabbed, I must have grabbed an XL. That's for farm trucks. Does that look alright? So anyways, this is a great print but it is not my size, so uh, this will probably go in the tray. Hey! Uh-huh. Is that the new shirt? It's well, the only new shirt that we have. That was mine, dude. It's way too big for you. you Give me that. You think so? Yep. Why is it wet? You been, <laughs> you been sweating in this thing? <laughs> you gotta... Does yep. it even fit you? What is this? Maybe that's too big. Is it an XL? I don't know. Don't no, stretch it. Here, let me help you. Weird. Oh, this thing's nasty. It's wet. Oh no! Come on. It's got Asian sweat on it. Accept it. That's not bad. It's not bad. You know, yeah. you're kind of triple layered there, but maybe that's in. That's pretty good. Oh, it's in. Yeah, dude, I like the shirt. You think so? It's about time we had a new dung beetle shirt. Okay. Yeah, this one's mine. Yeah. So our initial intention with this. Epson 2100 is to print test shirts, It's to uh, identify if a design is going to work, to do short run orders, um, to print our own shirts on our own t-shirts. We buy our own t-shirt blanks so that we can print our own designs or another design or let's say a company that helps us out wants us to wear one of their t-shirts but they're out of t-shirts, we can print it here. We don't have to go to a screen printer and buy a hundred t-shirts, we can just upload the design send it to the printer and print one off on one size. So if Lou wants a large and we're out of larges, we print that design. If I want a smaller farm truck comes in and he wants a double X, he's gonna get a double X. This printer allows us the versatility to print a short run design in a short amount of time. So what we're gonna do with this Dung Beetle design is launch our first YouTube exclusive shirt. The links will be below, so make sure you like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and we will continue to come up with fresh designs for you guys exclusively. See ya. chip bag. I bet this is just the packaging and there's only going to be a little bit. Hopefully these are car parts. <clears throat> because we've been waiting on you. You're right. You're right. I hope so too. I hope they are too. But I've never heard of Epson right. car parts. Right. Uh, new, uh, new uh, high performance. Is that what it is? Yeah, the new transmission setup. <laughs> <laughs>
What does this say right here? Eating Amandunga fried shrimp. Yeah, that's the sad part. I believe him. What is that? It's going back down. It's going back down. It's going back down. It's going back down. It's going. Whoa. Oh. Okay, this is maybe bigger than what I expected. We'll probably end up taking this to the sign shop. Yep. And then we'll get a computer hooked up to it. Uh, we'll get we'll get the t-shirt ready. We'll get some artwork ready. And then uh, we'll like 